Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to finish up writing wrongs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the main mission. Oh, okay, we've reached a pivotal moment in the story. Let's do it. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Huh. I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent? Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. <laughs> Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Come on, this way. Try to stay out of sight. <sighs> Obviously. Don't worry, the passage is empty. I absolutely love Sid. I swear this passage used to be the secret. Upon us. <sighs> of course it did. Perfect plans, Clive. Perfect plans. Stay down. Stay down! Not bad. Someone heal me, damn it! It's over! I'm gonna go that way, I suppose. Just giving a quick look over. It never stood a chance. You're welcome. Sid is my favorite character in Final Fantasy 16 so far. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. I 
And all good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on. Captain! To arms, it's men! Real. Summon the cannoneer! At yes! Once. I think this may be the moment I was talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed? You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. We've a talker. Then let's shut him up. This guy's no joke. Do you feel that? Something in the air. Ether. It's ether. Then we better make this quick. Oh my goodness, I can't dodge it. Poor wretch. Save your pity. You'll get none in return. There's nothing left of him but hatred and rage. Let's end his torment. I'm getting my ass handed to me. Not this time. 
done, Torgal. Damn, he was a tough fight. I'll never get used to that. I cast it or no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Guard duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Well, it looks pretty crazy in here. Ah, oh, breathe deep of the blessing, my friends. Who said being a dominant doesn't have its benefits? Sid, this is an ether flood. There shouldn't be one here, should there? The workers couldn't survive this. Well, it wasn't here last time, I can tell you that. Which means we need to be quick. The ether won't hurt us, but I'd rather not find out what it's done to everyone else. I'm guessing that ether must empower us because we're dominance anything else over here no looks like I got everything Gods. Too far gone. The ethers made monsters of them. All we can do now is put them out of their misery. Isabel said she thought the Empire might be planning to abandon the capital. Could this be why? Huh? She said you could call her Isabel. Never mind. If ever there was a reason to up sticks, an ether flood would be it. Fuck me. Those guards at the gate. They weren't there to keep people out. They were there to keep the Akashic in. Can't get over there. Must be able to backtrack here in a bit.
Doesn't look that far. Right. Some help. Hold on. Not quite as spry as I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side, eh? At least you won't get lost. Sound like Call of Duty zombies. Just saying. It's over. We don't have a map. I want to go back here. I think the way that we need to go is forward over there. But I just want to check back here before we go any further. Just in case we miss something. This place kind of reminds me of Duke's Archives from Dark Souls 1. Not the archives itself, but when you get towards uh, Seath the Scaleless. <sighs> Try not to jerk the camera around. Getting close to another level here. Oops. Oh, there is a big boy over there. We're going to want to take out the little guys first. 
That's enough. Don't worry about the big guy. It's over. Holy. Those guys hit like a truck. But at least I didn't take too much damage fighting them. And we got a uh, potion to heal us up. Coral I see they sword. replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. Let's check out what this coral sword is real quick. Um... I'd have to go to gear, wouldn't I? Well, gives us plus five. Sure, why not? On the count of three. Three. What happened to two? Ask one. <clears throat> Once more. Aye, seeing as you're trying now. As if that was going to keep us out. Mother Crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Well, unless someone's moved it.
There's no one about. I knew it would be big, but this... There. That's our way into the Inner Sanctum. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. A sorry state the Empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Aye. My little game of hide-and-seek with Bahamut ended here. At tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. I think that's a little bit of a drop. Can't go that way. Oh no. Them again. Is there something you two want to tell me? Maybe later. It's over. Yeah. That's enough. But how could those creatures from Phoenix Gate be here in the mines? Are the two places connected somehow? Definitely going to be having a boss fight soon. Stay down. Die. Oh, another witch. Stay down. Too slow. These guys are super fast. I do not do well against them. Not this time. Yeah. 
Good, we got a level. When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the glass gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to be fighting that Guardian here in a minute. Let's go ahead and give a save, just in case. Where did that come from? If I had to guess... <sighs> Poor beast. Another victim of the Flood. It's a fight he wants. Ready, Clive? Always. Is he off to now? Clive, look out! Oh, good lord. Not this I time. ran right into that. Luckily, I got past it. Oh. I'm on the wrong one. Yeah! 
Man, I cannot see. This camera is uh, fighting me the whole time here. I'm not really liking this boss fight with the camera. I mean, the dragon looks super cool. Say it'd be nice to stagger him. Give him hell. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of that boss fight just because the camera, I was fighting it the whole time, just ugh. Dragon looks really cool. Mechanically, just not so fun. Are you all right? Fine. The inner sanctum lies just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Clive. Hmm? If this all works and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after, by which I mean hunted. I just hope in the end, they'll see that we didn't have any other choice, that it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you.
Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? After we complete this quest, we'll go ahead and end the video. This is most likely going to be a longer video. We're almost there. Anyone having second thoughts? Not me. We're with you to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? Yeah, we're going to have another boss fight for sure. Beautiful. The heart of Sambrek. <laughs> well, that didn't work. I think we're going to need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive, but I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Taya's going to have a fix when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cramped in here. Clive, look. What is that? <gasps> Sid! Ifrit, <sighs> I need a freight. Do this without you. Not again. Where are you? Oh. 
Where the hell am I? I've been here before. You... You again! Where are you? What do you want? Fuck. It's still alive. Stay down! Get out of my head! I don't answer to you. I'm leaving, one way or another. Stay down! By the flames. Jeez, those things hit hard. Oh my goodness. Better already. What else can he do? Yeah, let's not stand in that. It's over. That power isn't yours. But this is mine. I remember now. I have 
fire. I am Ifrit! Just giving us a reminder, I suppose? Ifrit is way faster now. Oh, that's cool. Fucking him up. It's done. Are you serious right now? How many more could there be?
This guy's no joke this time. He went Super Saiyan on me. Oh shit. Was not expecting that. Oh my god, this guy is ridiculous. Hopefully I can beat this guy. It's pretty tough. There's no way I was getting over there. Mess that one up. This really is like a DBZ battle, isn't it? That dude was something else. At first I was like, ah, this is no big deal. 
<laughs> and then he started beating my ass. Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This? It's only a scratch. All right, the hole. We'll... we'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. I know who you are, and if you think I'm gonna let you have him, think again. Try not to talk. <sighs> Clive. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for, but a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he meets it, what's the point? So, I made a choice. Crystal's blessing is a prison, Clive. And if it's an outlaw the world needs to help it break free. Stop. Please. I can think of none better than you. <laughs>
In ashen grip, let ember glow to kindle flames anew. I'm sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I know you're there, Ultima. Oh, you have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this. If you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors, fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. You will leave my brother alone. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. And I said, no. These flames are nothing. You will know what it is to burn. Yours is a fleeting form. I'm not fool enough to think I can harm you. But... To protect my brother, I don't have to. These are not flames of destruction. Have you forgotten already who I am? Just try and get to my brother now. Fiend.
survivors! You heard me! He must be here! Must! Can fail Lord Cook again! Find shit! We're all fucking dead! Sid, help us! Where is he? Ah, you'll do! Bastard! Gab! We've got to go! Not without this! Sid is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? That won't be necessary. The finest silks from the master weavers of Randala. Come, come, feel its softness. Chocobo Make a nice steaks, gift to your wife, sausage, hmm? all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. Curatives, curatives, restoratives, Look all you like, sir. Poultices. It's all fresh. Carmatives, this curatives, very morning. restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices, carmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Carmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Carmatives, curatives, restoratives. It's good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? <sighs> the bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer? That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. 
You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished. Please, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. <laughs> but you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't know. Us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. <sighs> it's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw. Sid's here! Should we? Come on! Go! Summon the others! The bearers? Safe. Okay, this, uh... <laughs> this episode's gonna be extra, extra long. So after we get to a point that we can save and stop for a minute, then we're gonna end the video. I apologize to everybody for such a long video, but I didn't think that the cutscene was gonna be so long. Sid dies here! I have no clue what just happened there. Stay down! The outlaw's in here! Bring me his head! How many are there? Titan sends his regards! Dolphin! Enough! You're finished! Fuck! Stay down! Enough of this! Let him play with the kitten! They brought a pet. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. Then we'll have to be faster. Ran into that one. Stand 
To hell with this! <laughs> They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. Okay, so we're still not at a point that we can save. We're going to continue forward. Hopefully this will give us a point where we can save. That night five years ago, 
We destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free, free to choose our own path. <sighs> I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> A world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a dull moment. I want to start by saying I am so sorry for such a long episode. Hopefully you all stuck around to watch the whole video. If you did, I just want to say thank you so very much. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.